Good morning, everyone. Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I hope you all are doing fantastic today. We have a very exciting day, and that is because we are going on vacation tomorrow. Yay! We are so excited about it. I do have to say, I want to say right off the bat, for security reasons, I am not releasing this video until we actually have come back from our vacation. Um, just so nobody thinks that we're not at home, we are now <laughs> back at home. So having said that, we are off to Hawaii. So excited! Jason's parents have a place in Hawaii and they are so sweet and so wonderful and they they are letting us use it for a week and we just are beside ourselves. The girls have been packed for weeks now and we are just, oh, we're so ready to go. I am a little nervous because I am going to be leaving my garden for a week. And you gardeners know what it's like to leave your garden for a week and to put your garden in the hands of your friends and other people, um, you know, and everything like that. So we do have a house sitter that's gonna come here and stay here to take care of the pets. And she's going to help water. And then I also have my neighbor who is a gardener himself and he's gonna stop by a couple times. However, before I leave, I want Want to try and get as much done as I can. When we're gone, the temperature is going to go up to 100 degrees, of course. So I have to get everything out of my greenhouse or else it will fry. Um, I think I'm going to leave my caladiums in the greenhouse. I think that they will be fine, but everything else I really need to take it out. It's or put it somewhere, do something with it. So that's what I'm going to do today. As much as I can get done, get things out of the greenhouse, get it in the ground and just get it done and ready for vacation. <laughs> so very, very exciting day for us today. Um, we are actually going to Kauai, which is known as the Garden Island. Of course, why would we not go to Kauai? Um, so I'm hoping that I can bring you guys along for just a little bit, a couple clips, um, just so that you can see the beauty that is there of the Garden Island. So I'm in the front yard. I'm right by my cut flower garden. We just did our free flower day where I cut back as much as I possibly could uh, from my winter spring cut flower succession. And now I'm gonna start taking a lot of this stuff out and replacing it with the new seedlings that I have sitting in my greenhouse that I've got to get into the ground. So that is the first thing I'm gonna do. And then um, I do have my sparkling rose superbina I need to get in the ground and then a couple little things here and there. So I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can today. If I don't get to all of it before we leave, it'll be okay. I have people that'll take care of it. I'm just going to try and do as much as I possibly can today. All right, so let's go. Most of everything cleaned out what I wanted to get cleaned out. You can see I took out the Orlea. I am not sure what was going on with that plant. It was like slowly dying off. I, I don't know what I did wrong. If you guys have any suggestions about the Orlea, this is the white finch Orlea and it just, it was weird. It would just all of a sudden turn purple and then it would turn brown and it would die. And I don't know if there's something in the soil there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to plant there next just because I kind of switched everything around. Um, but I'm kind of worried about that spot. So we'll see how that goes. I did take out my sweet peas, which was sad <laughs> and I was bummed about it because they still had tons of blooms on them but you know since we do have a really hot day hot weekend coming up I know that there's no point they're gonna suffer anyway so I might as well take them out now I did take out the buplerum and then I did take out the bachelor's buttons right there so I have a lot of space let me show you guys what I'm gonna put in there <laughs> 
and here's my mess. So you can see my green waste bin right there is totally chock full. <laughs> I started filling up a couple bins and then I started just putting it in a pile. And Jason actually did me a really sweet favor and he called the waste company and they're coming to do an extra pickup for our green waste this week. So normally, well, during certain times of the year, we will have big piles that we can put in the street and they do a, a like a big pickup and it makes it so easy but the last one until fall just happened last week and I didn't pay attention to the timing of it so I should have did this I should have done got this done last week and I just missed it um I just didn't pay attention to it so that's okay they will come and pick it up um but we just have to pay just a little bit extra it's not too bad so that's where all that stuff is going so I'm in my backyard right by my greenhouse and you can see things are starting to spill out so here's a bunch of my seedlings these are tomato seedlings and basil seedlings that it's time to just get rid of I don't know why I keep I'm keeping them just in case somebody ends up wanting them um, but everybody has their own tomatoes so I don't have to worry about that so I'll probably get rid of those these are lemon aura sunflowers um, that aren't doing very well I think that it's just not hot enough yet so I'm going to put these in where I had the sweet peas and then I'm also going to direct seed some as well. These are some zinnias that my friend gave me. Let me see. I think they're all the Oklahoma variety. Uh, Zinderella lilac. Oh, this is all queen red lime, Oklahoma ivory, and Zinderella peach. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant those because I might as well. I do have a couple more, uh, Benary lime zinnias that I'll probably plant. And then here's some apricot asters that were in my bonus section, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to squeeze them, fit them into my cut flower garden as well. And then coming in here, you can see uh, it's, I, I gotta get this stuff out. So these are my super bean sparkling rosé that I cannot wait to get planted. I'm very excited about that. Sorry about the focus. I gotta find a place to put my Royal Velvet Super Tunias. Um, here is something I gotta get out. You can see this poor thing. It is so ready to be out of these uh, cell trays. I left them in way too long. These are Double Quick Snow Puff Cosmos. So I'm gonna put those in my cut flower garden as well. And then I have five dahlias here that are ready to go out. So I have Mingus Alex, Lavender Perfection, Blue Boy, I'm excited about that one. Arbitax, and then Lady Darling. And, oh no, wait, one more, I have six. Oh, and Lifestyle, that's the baby one. Okay, I have six. I have so much to get out. <laughs> and then I have a couple begonias, a couple um, super tunias that I wintered over from last year. I've got a lot to do and I've got to get on it. So let me get started getting all this stuff in the cut flower garden. I am all down with my cut flower garden. I am racing against the clock, you guys. It is late afternoon and I haven't even packed yet. And our flight is tomorrow morning. So I have to go, I have to hurry, but I really wanna get these plants in. Um, so I'm really happy that I took most of uh, those plants out of the cut flower garden from my winter spring succession. It was hard to take plants out that were still in bloom. They were beautiful, but it's for the greater good. And I'm really glad that I got my 
my spring summer plants in so now they can start growing and I can enjoy them for longer and they won't um, languish with the heat that we do have coming up. So I will show you guys that in a little bit. The last thing I want to do is in my backyard, I'm uh, by my lawn and I'm getting the sparkling rose superbina in. So here is kind of this back west facing uh, garden bed that I have with my Wichita blue juniper, my honeysuckle, and then um, my tutors right there. So here you can see the cans of the sparkling rose. I'm just gonna put right there. They're not in bloom yet, but they do have buds on them. When I redid my front flower box and I didn't have time because there was a soccer game to show you guys where I transplanted all the things, this is where I decided to put them. So I have one, to three boxwoods right there that I'm gonna shape into spheres. And I'm really excited about those. I hope they're happy in the spot. I feel like they should be. And then I did plant one, two, three of the purple fountain grasses. Oh my goodness, that was thunder. There's quite a thundercloud over there. We never get thunder, this is weird. Do I go inside? I don't even know. <laughs> We don't get thunderstorms here, hardly ever. But it's not raining, it's totally fine. Okay, I'm just gonna hurry and then I will run inside. Okay, so here's the three fountain grasses. Two of them look fantastic. One of them, eh, I'm not totally sure. It's got a little bit of leaves popping out, but um, yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you hear that? There is so much thunder going on. I'm not seeing any lightning, but okay, I gotta hurry. <laughs> right and I am all done thunder and lightning still going strong but I think the storm has kind of passed us towards the east so I'm not too worried about it and I don't feel like I need to rush inside so I planted these sparkling rosé superbina which are sun apart sun so I think that this garden bed will be absolutely perfect and I don't know if they are going to grow as well as the sparkling amethyst superbina but I'm just interested to see I've been wondering about these for quite a while now so I'm super excited to see how they do I want to cut back this osteospermum but obviously I'll do that when I get back and so I have one two there's a boxwood three four and a little baby one back there that is a red twig dogwood elegantissima again that's my Wichita blue juniper I think it's gonna look gorgeous so let me take you guys out front and I will show you my cut flower garden and what I did Okay, and here's the cut flower garden. I'm sorry about the wind noise, you guys. I wasn't planning on putting on my microphone today because I didn't think it would be windy. The forecast said sun the whole day, so I don't know what's happening. Okay, so over here, I took out my Orlea and I put in my Double Click Snow Puff Cosmos. Very excited about those. Cosmos are so easy to grow, and I think that they'll be fantastic. I was gonna put those back where the Larkspur were. I just kind of switched everything around. I did put my dahlias right here and I have three stakes um, around them to support them and I might like wind some twine around it. Um, but when I went on that garden tour in Davis like two weeks ago now, um, they one of, one of the gardens I saw had the stakes like this and I thought it was so beautiful and I loved it and so I totally copied her. Um, this one is called Lifestyle and this one only gets two feet tall so I do not need to stake this one. So over there where my bachelor buttons were, that is my zinnia patch. And I have a couple different kinds of zinnias that I got from my friend. And then I also put in the rest of my lime zinnias, my binary lime zinnias. Um, and then over here where all my sweet peas were are gonna be my lemon aura sunflowers. And I had like five of them that come up, came up from seedlings. And I realized I had them right next to my um, bird feeders and I'm wondering if the birds started eating them because they just didn't look very good. So I planted them anyway and then I also direct seeded some more sunflowers and I think that that will be great if they come up because then they'll come up kind of like in a succession which would be fantastic. So we'll see how it does. 
Like I said, I did leave my Larkspur there and I wasn't planning on doing that, but you know, it's the best I can do it right now. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was my Prairie Sun Rudbeckia is budding up. <laughs> and I'm so disappointed that I'm gonna miss this open up for the first day because I've been waiting on this one. These Prairie Sun Rudbeckia were sown in the fall. So um, they were fall sown and they're just starting to come up now. So there's buds all over the place. So when we get back from Hawaii, this is gonna be fantastic for cut flowers. Very excited about it. All right, so that is gonna be it for today's video. I wanna apologize if it felt rushed because it was rushed. I was trying to squeeze as much as I possibly could in a very short amount of time, and now I feel like I have to go run inside <laughs> and pack for vacation. So I feel like the garden is buttoned up. I feel like it's I've, I've prepared it as much as I can for going away. I'm only going away for a week, so it's not that big of a deal. And I do have my neighbor coming over to take care of it. So it will be fine. It's just a hard thing, you know, to let go of. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this. I will be thinking of you all uh, when I'm in Hawaii. But like I said, by the time you all see this, I will already be back at home and hopefully tan, but I don't tan very well. So probably not. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.